pray for short. Um, I'm rerunning for treasurer this year, or for next year, because despite having a roller coaster every year, um, I really do enjoy my position and I want to continue giving back to Fusion. Last year, nobody ran for treasurer, so I ended up being appointed treasurer, and I ended up being part of a baby board. Because of that, a lot of time was allocated to everyone getting acclimated to our positions. But if I return as treasurer next year, it would give me a chance to help the future president with um, transitioning the rest of our board and just making sure that everyone is able to perform their duties well and ask for help if need be. <laughs> Sorry. Um, a few of the things that I've learned as treasurer this year was that um, it's really important to have a lot of teamwork, communication, organization, and time. All of which I've learned is very important in order to have a very successful event, fundraiser meeting, and even um, just a club overall. My goal in being treasurer next year is to bring more creative ways of raising money, like how we had our um, potluck after event when we had the facade panel. Another goal of mine would be to have more outside fundraisers, which was um, something we were supposed to do this year, but there was um, an issue with the tax ID, which we now have more information, which I hope to be able to continue to work on as treasurer next year. Another goal of mine is to be able to improve our systems of um, uh, improve our system of fundraisers, in which like replacing things that need to replace, like our canopy, the pans, like uh, tables, whatever it is. Um, as well as making it more smooth in terms of like um, who's going where, scheduling, um, even just like the organization of the storage rooms. Um, at the end of it all, I really just hope that I can have, or I can provide Fusion with another enjoyable and successful year next year. Um, so you're on board this year. Uh, what weaknesses did you discover while being on board this year and how can you improve that for uh, next year? So some weaknesses of mine that I noticed, especially first starting off, was that I'm not very good at speaking in front of crowds. <laughs> but as time went on and like um, as I had to host more meetings and um, host more fundraisers and more, um, I started developing more confidence and being able to like stand up here and talk to people without like being so nervous or being very jittery and just like yeah. Um, another thing I noticed in the beginning was. Um, my time management skills. I thought it, I thought I had very good management skills in that sense in the beginning, but it wasn't until I had to juggle like hosting all the fundraisers and the scheduling and everything like that um, that I realized I needed to improve. And I did, but I'm hoping I can improve more by being treasurer again next year. Um, if you were not too good at this role as treasurer, what would your role be? Since this is the only position I'm running for next year, um, I wouldn't be a board member, but I would still be available um, to help mentor and assist the board of next year, regardless of if it's my successor or not. Hi guys, I'm Sammy again. I think you know me by now. Um, I'm running for treasurer. Uh, I believe that I'm the most qualified person to run for treasurer outside of Ray uh, because I have two years of experience with uh, accounting and real estate management. So I have real world professional experience at the firm I work for with money management. So with that being said, I would put money as the number one priority. Uh, we need money to do more fun activities, and we need more fun activities to bring members in. So, um, my number one priority for fall quarter, if I'm treasurer, is making sure that we are doing multiple outside fundraisers every quarter. Um, the fundraisers on Ring Road are great, but they don't build wealth. They maintain what we spend. Um, I would work with Alianza to learn how they do it because they have many that they do. Um, other than that, other than working with activities to make sure that whoever is running activities 
is well funded, um, other than the fundraisers, I would make sure that our bacon wrapped hot dog fundraisers are running more smoothly. Since I do have a car, I would be the most valuable treasurer to board. Um, <laughs> I, I would, my goal is to streamline bacon wrapped hot dogs. Uh, as an intern who um, attended multiple board meetings, it, it was always a struggle for board to figure out um, really the process every quarter with new dates for bacon wrapped hot dogs selling. So I feel like with me having a car, that would make it easier. I would be a dependable, more dependable treasurer. Um, that being said, I understand treasurer is a two-part job where you also have to conduct fundraisers. What other fundraisers, other than bacon wrap pop dogs, do you think would be beneficial to Fusion? Uh, is it other UCI fundraisers or external fundraisers? Any. Uh, I believe bacon wrapped hot dogs for for now is the perfect um, is is a perfect fundraiser to maintain the the like the, the money that's moving in and out quarterly but my focus would be on external fundraisers uh, because those are what I think in the long run will make us more money. Um, if you're doing a fundraiser and you find that your members are uncommunicative or they're not showing up at the time that they're supposed to, how would you deal with it? Um, I would bring it, make sure that I would bring it up in the next board meeting as the most important issue as treasurer. Um, I would try to work it out with my fellow board members. Uh, if it's an intern issue, I would also, first of all, try to work it out with the board and then bring it down to uh, the IVP and work with IVP to figure out why interns might not be coming. Uh, so you're running for three positions. Which one do you want? Uh, I want IVP the most. But I feel like I'm most qualified for a treasury. Do you have any ideas yet as to what you want to do for external fundraisers? Uh, well, external fundraisers mostly run as we would partner with like Lolly Cup and they would give us a percentage after a certain period of time. Uh, so it would it's basically the perfect fundraiser to do year round because not just with Lollipop but with uh, any other organization because it's perfect for our after events. Our members go to the after event, they spend their money, they have fun with their friends and they fund our activities. So Holding fundraisers, earning money on campus, off campus, that's great. Um, but being treasurer, generally the main issue with maintaining the club and having funds is more about the spending rather than earning the money. Um, so with different activities happening, uh, coordinated by different board members, how would you control things like what materials and supplies you spend the money on? Um, that that's a question that would be brought up at every brainstorming session at board meeting uh, when we're thinking of what activity we want to do. At planning meeting when we're thinking of the activities that uh, we want to do for the quarter. So as treasurer, when we're planning out the quarter, I would make sure to, before I come into the meeting, to work with activities and to decide on what activities we want to bring into meeting and then budget from there before we even vote on what activities we want to do for the board. Um, so being on board this year, I noticed that a lot of things are not planned ahead of time so far as like to planning meetings themselves because 
you can't really plan a whole quarter in one meeting. That would take insane amount of time. But um, some of the things that we've done this year to like um, work out like issues of not spending too much money would be budgeting. So we would limit like um, general meetings to twenty dollars of a budget, um, and for different events, depending on what kind of events they are, each event has a budget. And depending on like the needs and the pricing of like let's say booking a room, like because um, I know prices do tend to fluctuate, we would work based off of what we have and what we could do. And if it's things like fundraisers, um, we would try to find things like the best prices and also try to um, sorry. We would try to like uh, figure out things that like figure out what each person already has and can contribute to um, our event or whatever it is we're trying to host. Um, I think this is just in general, but say you can't find a driver or a car to get the supplies you need. Are you willing to find other options in case you can't get those supplies? Like, I'm trying to word this way, it makes sense. But basically, you can't find a car. What are your other options? So what I would mainly start with is drivers on board. And if anyone on board can't drive that day, I would ask our interns. And if push comes to shove and we can't find any drivers at all, I would try to resort to the closer stores like Albertsons, Trader Joe's, Target even. Or like, if we can't find anything that we need nearby, I would try to like, rearrange things and incorporate different types of like games or activities or whatever it is that we need in order to figure out a way to compromise without breaking our wallet space or Fusion's wallet. Uh, I want to realistically develop a contingency uh, fundraiser, something that is simple that is most likely to sell out, that is absolute last resort. Other than that, as uh, Ray stated I would go through board, the board drivers, the intern drivers. Um, if I couldn't figure that out, then I would go to the closer um, closer stores, and then last last option would be a, a, a an alternative fundraiser that is cheaper and. Is easier to build. How would you deal with a loss in profit if a fundraiser wasn't like doing well like for a week? Um, that should never be an issue other than uh, for some like somehow there is a bad day where no one wants bacon or hot dogs. Um, because as I stated in my uh, personal speech, I want to streamline the the bacon wrapped hot dog kind of development process every week. Um, so I want to make it a little cheaper to gather everything. Um, to I want to streamline the supplies as well with some brainstorming. So if there if there's ever a day where like for the off chance we lose more money than we profit or it's just not as profitable as we normally um, are, I would try to find um, outside fundraisers or even just like um, like week long fundraisers that we could um, incorporate into like the off weeks that we don't have fundraisers or just like in between other events like midterm weeks or like final week, finals week so that even though like people normally don't have time to like go out of their way to get a bacon wrap hot dog, they can still get something like boba from Cha or like um, a burrito from like Chipotle or something that would contribute to giving us more money that doesn't require us to spend a lot more. Oh, uh, would you be willing to collaborate with other clubs in order to um, have like a joint fundraiser? I would, because this past year and like past years before, we had joint um, fundraisers with like BMS for like the ice ring. Um, we also had 
a joint one with them for uh, um, Buffalo Wild Wings. So I, I am more than willing to um, do a joint fundraiser like we also did with Basai with the bowling tournament. And if the poker tournament does go through, it would also be like a joint fundraiser in that sense too. Yeah, I would also be willing to uh, part participate with other clubs to uh, share a fundraiser, whether internally at UCI on Ring Road or externally. Um, I would I would much rather prefer to try doing um, a Ring Road fundraiser with another club and share the profits. We, that could be something that is that's really big, a really big event uh, that we can merge two clubs for a week.